Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever European Free Play Edition. And last episode, we got a new steel line set up here in Carlton Koval. We got the iron ore line running this way. We have coal coming from down here. And we have, I think, steel. Uh, that's my ship passengers. Uh, we have actually tools coming back up this way. We have nothing, although it does look like this took machines and possibly some coal. We have 11 coal sitting there. We have 39 steel coming back this way, so that is good. And I was doing a little bit of stuff off screen and I realized I made a massive mistake. Which was the whole wait till full load. I know this is something that no one has mentioned in the comments, but uh, I had an issue here. This was originally set to a full load. The problem is we got a load of trucks just sitting here. I really hate how they just phase into one another rather than backing up, which will create issues here. I understand why they kind of do this, which allows this to flow, but if these trucks were backed up and not moving, because you see here, if I were to let things run, which I'm not going to at the moment, basically what would happen is that these would get stopped and clogged up, which is not necessarily a good thing. We do have 32 plastics sitting here, and I have recorded a bunch of episodes, but I'm going to be scrapping them because I want to do something a little bit different than I was previously doing. So I have been having an issue here with this machine factory and I thought it was possibly a steel issue. I thought it was also because we have no plastics, we had a, a plastics issue. But of course, because we have plastic sitting here, it didn't seem like too much of an issue just getting the plastics over here so I think what I ended up doing was put even more trucks on this line, which ultimately weren't helping. And it also didn't help that I had a wait until full load of unlimited. Probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, even having a three minute wait time wouldn't have solved issues. In my previous recorded attempt, I did connect up this plastics factory and it did produce, and I did get plastics flowing that way, but the only problem is that this chemical plant can supply enough. Um, yeah, it's, it's not seeing the demand, and the same thing happened to this one. It initially produced, initially shipped, and then it didn't see any more demand. So yeah, the issue is mainly here with all those trucks waiting there. That is uh, three, six, nine, 12 trucks just sitting there. And as we can see, this line has basically been making almost no money. It's been losing me money for the most part. We made a little bit of profit here. And part of the problem with this, of course, is the fact that uh, this, or no, no. Because this is not getting oil, and it's not taking away the plastics. This has stopped producing. It's not seeing any demand. It's seeing demand for oil. And it has a lot of oil sitting in its internal storage. 61 units, has 58 units sitting there. This thing is just not going to produce oil, which means that we're not going to have oil showing up here, which means the trucks that are waiting that are full are simply not going to move due to how I have things set up. So to fix that, get rid of the wait until full load. You should almost never use the wait until full load. I only use it when I'm setting up a line for the first time and I want to put a truck on the line, just get some demand flowing. Often I usually forget to turn the full load off. Anyway, so we are going to let that run. And as we can see down here, uh, where is it? It's over here. We 
just have a lot of trucks just phased in through one another. This has four of five. And that is why it was not flowing. And I'm pretty sure in some of the episodes, in order to try to get this plastics moving, I added a few more trucks to this line. Completely pointless. Now with that said, I did make some changes here in Grays. We no longer have the RT1 line running all the way over to here. We have this split, so the RT1 line is now an LF Grays RT1. It goes from here over to, oh, might as well let this run, to here. And this goes onwards to Southgate. We have the plastics coming into here. We have the farm coming into here. And so this basically just goes from here to here. And we have this line coming up to here. So the issue we were having where goods were flowing up here and then coming back to here to get to some of the buildings in here, that has been resolved. With that said, uh, we aren't fully supplying the town, as we can see here. Um, so goods coming into here only have this coverage. Goods over here have that coverage. The problem, of course, is that goods are still going to flow up this way to come back this way to get supplied here. So what we want to do is make things a little bit more efficient by providing goods directly into this area. Now, we have the 359K and $1 million in loans. And part of the reason I'm doing things a little bit differently this time around is because I don't want to go massive into debt. Uh, so we could put truck station right there and get that kind of coverage. Uh, this is the RT1 line. If we put this right in here, that will almost fully supply the town. So we're going to do it. And now we are going to create a new line. We are going to go from here up to here. This is going to be that color purple pink. This is going to be LF Grays RT2. Now we are going to need a few horse carts on the line and Gray's RT2. So that should, of course, supply in a lot more. Yeah, product. All right. So that makes that a little bit more efficient. Goods no longer have to travel up here just to come back. And leg there now this episode what I would like it to be is to connect up a new town and I've decided that we are actually what I would like to do we are going to buy ships we are going to buy a riggy and I probably should have set this up a while ago new line we're gonna go from grays over here to from. We are going to color this green and we're going to call this SP Grays to From. So that will kick off travel between those. I do want to connect up Lugger Hall as well as Dursley with the passenger line and I had something interesting happening there. But we are not going to go off in that direction quite yet. What I would like to do is connect up Dover Court here. We are going to run a passenger line up from West Smalling, one across to Carlton Coval, and no, I'm not going to do Grays to Dover Court. So we are going to do West Smalling to Dover Court and Dover Court to Carlton Coval. In addition, I would like to set up some other infrastructure here. So this may be a lengthy episode, it may be a two part episode. I have not decided, but I've checked this out, and I think this would make for something interesting. Uh, we want, we're actually going to only do two platforms, 320, curvature, we are going to do a street connection, 
second circuit connection. And what I would like to do is I would like to squeeze if I can find a good place. I did this off screen. Seriously? We are in passenger. Yes, we are. Right there. Oh, five. Nice. I wish I could. I wish I had a borrow lots of money button. Five hundred and twenty-four K. Can I get a better price? Another thing. Um, all right, that's going to be sticking out like that. Yep, let's do it. Although, <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. All right. And so what I'm going to do is we are going to run this. Interesting. <laughs> uh, all right, about that. We're going to put a crossover, and we might as well build the bridge. We're going to need money. And this is going to eventually run over to Salterton, possibly. We are going to do Stone Bridge. And I think we're just going to go until about. Although, with that said. I'm going to build that. And then we are going to extend that across. And now do I... I probably better. And we are going to force it flat. Although with that said, I probably could have... Embankment, and if I do go off in that direction, eh. Yeah, I'm going to want to cross here, so. Yeah, about that. Let's just. No, we'll go. 84. All right. Now, one possibility that we can do is we can send this off to Fowey and just utilize this. Because we're not going to be able to fit any more stations in here, any other platforms. But we are going to put in a passenger harbor. And we might as well borrow up a couple million dollars. And we want to place this in uh, water. Now, I'm going to want one coming in from West Mulling, one coming up from Carlton Coval. Um, am I going to want any other lines? I don't think a Salterton to Dover Court line is necessarily going to make much sense. Just because people probably more likely to take the bus when we connect it up. 
So yeah, about that. So we are going to connect this up right about here or maybe right there. And we're just going to do the one terminal for now. We can always add additional later. And we just want to connect this up with a medium street. Now that said, we might as well just Yeah, the town will probably build here as it is. Uh, I won't, no, I'm gonna avoid spending too much money. Now with that said, I could bridge around like that. Although, meh. No, we're not gonna have any buses coming in here. This is simply going to be purely passenger oriented. So we got that, so that connects up and so we are going to need a bus stop or bus station there. Um, all right, so we are going to have, uh, this can reach up to there, to there. If we're going to have a bus station, we kind of want it to have right here. These are industrial buildings. Now, for 623k, I can have that there. Alternatively, I can just have a bus line stopping here. Although I do kind of want... 300k. Actually, that will tear that building out as well. Really? Um, alternatively, we could just run a small street. Not even that. Because that still wants to destroy that building. And it's because it's trying to cut this. Let's see the street like that. If we do that. Yeah, that's annoying. To, or I kind of like having the bus stops or bus stations. You know what? We're not going to do that. We're just going to run a bus line that's going to probably go from here down to here, possibly over to here. And then we might bring another line in. Although, eh, I like bus stops to turn buses around. Uh... Is there any way to... And the same thing. The street creeps onto the property, so the building must go. Alright, but that... Here... Get that in. Can we? I can get rid of one of the buildings. Either way, 75k. Let's put a construction, it's not possible. Extend this a little bit further. Although, with that said, I am going to want to run uh, 
this is going to go out to Gainsborough. I might split off to Carlton Coval. So we are going to want I can. Put that in there. So that covers that. All right, well, we are going to want to have this road come through here anyway, so your houses are going to have to go. Um, we're going to extend this this way. Depends on how you pull the street out from the, the road. And we are going to put down a bus tram station right there. And now we need some local transportation. We'll actually put this right there. Since I don't think that's going to be... Yep, we need to put it there in order for that to reach. And now uh, we are going to want... Bus stop there. And yes, having them close together is a good idea. You give people... Plenty of options to get on and off your transportation. Now, uh, do I want any more? First of all, so this is right in that. People can walk. So this covers that, this covers that. What I might want to do is have a line that basically runs maybe like this. For now, we're just going to want that like that. There. To there. thinking this would have made more sense. And now we want two local routes. We are going to want two ship lines and we are going to not do anything else at the moment. Uh, we are going to color this red. This is going to be uh, blue. Green and green. This is going to be Bus Dover Court RT1. Bus Dover Court RT2. We want SP West Malling to Dover Court. And we want SP Carlton Colville to Dover Court. And so we are going to connect up this first from here to here. 
up like that. Uh, Chester Road, yep. And to there. Get rid of that. And then this is just going to go from there. Like that, except for that. We are going to want Carlton Koval. Over to Dover Court. And then we are going to want uh, West Mulling. Over to Dover Court. So that is going to go like that. That one is going to go like that. If we take a look at our lines, and I want to actually change this to that color green. So we have ship line like that, ship line like that, ship line like that, like that to here. We have that connected up. We are going to basically, that's pretty much it. We are going to have another one that goes up like that. Eventually, once we connect up OCAM, I'm going to think about a train station for Salterton, possibly one up here for Fawi. But I did want to get Dover Court connected up as it kind of is going to be a bit of a hub of goods and passengers. Now, what we are going to do, uh, we want to set up some ships. We have a million dollars in the bank and we're just going to throw the ship yards here. Now, um, so current Koval to Dover. We don't have any grays to from. We did put one on the line, although 32 minute frequency. And is the where is the ship right now? It's in the shipyards. Oh, okay. So we are going to want to set up a second. And do I have a... No, I don't. We are going to buy another water depot right there. Buy ships. We are going to buy a riggy. We could buy a Frontenac, but for now we're just going to go cheap. Save money. And then once we generate passengers then all will be good. What we'd like to do is buy another ship, Riggy, for the uh, West Mulling to Dover Court line. We are going to want one over here, Riggy for the Crown Cobalt Dover Court line. $400,000 left. Did we Let's let things run? No, we didn't. We're going to buy a Riggy from here, and we are going to throw it on, actually. Uh, West Malling Dover Court is 26 minutes. Actually, that's not that bad. West Malling Dover Court down to 13 minutes. Uh, we have... Carlton Koval to Dover Court is 40 minutes. We're going to definitely want to have another ship on that line. Riggy. And we want that to Carlton Koval to Dover Court. I'm going to need to put another ship on the line. Get these below 12 minutes. But let's just let things run for now. And we're just going to repay the 500000 Three and a half million dollars in loans. And I thought this would be a, a scenic option for a passenger station. So about that. I am also thinking about setting up a freight station here because I was pondering what I wanted to do with this oil. And I 
thinking bring it to the coast and then shipping over here to Dover Court to be transported up here to this refinery. We don't really have any oil off in this area. There is a refinery here. There is an oil well here. We don't have really anything over here. No oil. So that is definitely a good option. I'll probably do that off screen. Although, oh, end of the month. Hmm. What I might just do is run this up like this and then split it off to go that way and into Gainesboro. So when I get the money, we'll just fix this, speed up just a little bit. Actually, before we continue, we are going to need some road vehicles on this line. Uh, we want to put the road depot, we'll just throw it over here. By road vehicles, we want the Le Obesans and Dovecourt RT1 and three on Dovecourt RT2. There is our Crown Coble ship. That looks to be our West Mauling ship. And we have this one running that way. We have this one running this way. And things are running relatively smoothly. Now at this point in time, I really should end the episode here just because I need to keep the episodes a little bit shorter than the 50 to 60 minutes, it seems like it is. What I'm going to do is probably set up a freight harbor here off screen. We will run a oil line in the next episode and connect up to the refinery over near Kirkby. I was considering whether to run rail or just road line up there. I know that uh, road line would be cheaper, but rail could be a bit more efficient. I'm definitely going to do a road line for the oil well, but at this point in time, what I'm going to do is end the episode here and we will continue off with more Transport Fever European Free Play Edition in the next episode. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Scott Gaming, and as always, have a good